Hello, I am here today to talk about my piercings on my ear. I'm really into piercings and jewelry. I buy all these rings, even though they look like engagement rings. None of them are, but I just like them. And I have a lot of necklaces. They say vegan, both of them. And I'm really into earrings, necklaces, bracelets. I guess kind of bracelets and rings. So, but I'm here mainly to talk about my ear piercings. So, let's get started. So I have a lot of gold piercings on this ear. They're mostly gold, not all of them, but I will get there. A lot of gold piercings on this ear. And then silver on this ear because I like to be different. So I wanted gold and silver. <laughs> There's nothing really to it. I just want to be different. But yeah, so I'll try to explain as best as I can when I got them and things like that. But it's going to be hard because I don't remember everything. But I did write it down. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at this book, okay? So um, let's see. I have about four low piercings. So I wrote in my book. Oh, and every time I got a piercing, I got it done even on each side. I always got it done even on each side. Even though on this side, one of the forward helixes rejected. So now they're not even. But every time I got them pierced, it was always even, okay? So on March 19th, 2011, I got a low piercing. I don't, it definitely wasn't the first one because the first one I got when I was really young. So maybe that was the second piercing or the third. I'm not really sure. Um, oh, it's looking like it's the second. And then June 26, 2014, I got another low piercing. So I'm guessing that's my third piercing. My third low piercing right there and then over there. And then October 26, 2014, I got another low piercing. So that was my fourth. And that one was close to cartilage, like it was close to bone and things like that. So, um, but I still consider it a low piercing, a low piercing. Um, mm -mm. And then January 7, 2018, I got another piercing. So I don't know which one that was. So I guess, I don't know. It just says January 7th, I got another piercing. So let's just assume that's another loop. <laughs> mm, but let's get into the cartilage ones. So like the date, the rook, and um, the forward helix, the tragus. Those are the really cool ones. So on November 19th, 2018, I got my first two helixes. So I got this one down here, this one right here. And then the same on the other side. I'm sorry, my skin is really dry right now. The weather's changing and I don't know how to act. No, my skin doesn't know how to act. <laughs> um, yeah, my skin doesn't know how to act. And so it's really dry. And when I moisturize it, I either do too much or too little. So it's just going to be dry in this video. So um, um, on January, November 19th, 2018, I got my first two helixes. And those were pierced with a horseshoe, like the little horseshoe things. And it was pretty cool. I really liked that. And then on November 23rd, 2018, which was literally four days later, I got four piercings because it was on a Black Friday and it was half price for piercing. So each piercing was $30. So I got uh, four, two on this side and two on this side. So it's the ones above it. It was pierced with studs, but I changed them to hoops. I probably need to fix these hoops because they're all different sizes, but I got that done. What is that? Lint. And then on that side, I got those done and those are, you know, silver. And I don't remember them hurting a lot, but I really remember I, me really liking the look. So um, with any piercing, if it hurts, I don't, like, you know, the worst part is driving to get it done. But once you get it done, you're just like, oh, okay, that's it. It's over. That's pretty cool, you know? So I got those done. And then on January 4th, 2019, I got my forward helixes done, my first ones. So they were $40 each. I got this one. This is the one on the side that did not reject. You see right here where it's like a little mark you probably can't see that because it's not going to focus but there's a little mark right there from the one that did reject and then the one down here on this one i got done they were 40 dollars each and that was pretty cool and then um january 18th 2019 i got my two dates done the dates are the one inside right here 
they're the ones inside right there. The ones that they say are really good if you get headaches, like it does something that it makes the headaches less or go away, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't really get headaches, but I just like the way the look of this piercing, so I got them done. And um, my piercer said like I would just feel a lot of pressure, but um, when I got it done, I didn't feel it. Like it felt fine and I'm so glad because I was really scared to get those done. I think that was like one of the first major ones that was through a lot of bone that I got. So I was really scared, but it was pretty, pretty good. So that's good to know. And then January 25th, which was seven days later, <laughs> I got my rooks done on both ears and I got them done with like, you know, the little curve thing. Oh yeah, my date that got done with like a little horseshoe looking thing. I didn't get done uh, with these, but I got them changed to these. And um, my, my rooks, I got done with the little curve thing. And I just, right now I have a silver horseshoe in this one. And then this one, I have like a little heart one in this one. So yeah, I got that done. And those were $30 each and I don't remember them hurting. Let's see. I'm trying to see because I wrote down like how he had to clean it. It didn't really bleed a lot and stuff, but I don't remember them hurting. So that's pretty good. And then February 11th, 2019, I got my two tragus on each side done. So it was done with a stud as well. And those were $30 each. I got my traguses done. And the second of my forward helix is done. So, of course, on that one, I reject it. But the jewelry they pierced with was the, like, little hook thing again. And that look isn't really that nice for a forward helix because it's, like, poking out. And that's probably why that one rejected. I'm not sure. And then this one wasn't really healing that well because of the jewelry. Like, it should have just been, like, a little stud. But it was $30. And um, I got this one changed to a little stud. So that's kind of kind of nice of my piercer to switch that for me because I got it done from a different place at that time um so yeah I remember my forward helix I think the last one that he did hurting which is kind of weird because the skin on this is like so thin like it's so thin for forward helixes but it hurt more than my date like my date didn't hurt at all and then that one I remember hurting so yeah I remember that um I literally wrote right forward helix hurt the most, but I took it like a champ. <laughs> uh, I don't remember writing that, but I wrote that down. And then on October 19th, 2019, and today is November 1st, 2019, I got my last piercings that I have, and it's that's the conch piercing, so I got that right there. I got that one, and then I got that one um it hurt a little bit but not enough that i couldn't handle like anybody could handle any pain especially if you want something like a tattoo or piercing i don't have any tattoos yet because i'm afraid i'm gonna be like piercings and get a lot of them and plus when i get a tattoo i have to find uh one that has vegan ink because they're out there i just have to really do my research and it's probably not even gonna be that hard um you know everybody's making vegan options so i love that so yeah Sorry that this is like all over the place. I just don't, I didn't have a script or anything. I just wanted to make this video. So if I'm saying um or like a lot, I'm so sorry. But I just wanted to show you my piercings and things like that. But I also want to show you the um, the aftercare that I use. So I don't use um, any aftercare that they give me. Like uh, if they ever gave me aftercare, I never used it because I am vegan for the animals. So I try to find vegan and cruelty-free products for like my body and everything that I use, like my deodorant, every single thing, my toothpaste. So um, I found this on Amazon and it's probably gonna come up, up uh, backwards because I am using the other side of my phone camera. So it's just wound wash and um, it's wound wash. And on Amazon, it says vegan and cruelty free. So I thought that was really cool because I never would have thought that this would be vegan and cruelty free. So this is the wound wash and I also have H2 Ocean, um, sorry that it's backward, wound wash and H2 Ocean and this comes out as a foam and this comes out as a spray. So I spray this in a little container and then I use a Q-tip to clean my piercing, especially with my dates and forward helixes to inside. I need to use a Q-tip or I won't be able to get inside all the way and it'll probably be a lot of built up things in there. So... And this one comes out as a foam, so I just like, let's see how I can do it to show you. I just like 
spray it on there. You see that's a foam. And then I just put it directly on my ear since it's foamy. I'm gonna wipe that on my pants. But yeah, so I'm really glad that I found vegan and cruelty-free options that's like specifically made for ear piercings because before this I used to just use um what was it witch hazel and sea salt water I mean that's cool at first but you I really wanted to use something that was made for it because I don't know if it was doing the complete job of feeling it correctly and stuff like that but I I did what I had to do not to harm animals so I really wanted to use that because what's the point of harming animals? Like we literally do not have to harm a living creature to survive. And I just want everybody to understand that. So yeah, and my piercings are fine, even though some of them are still healing. And so they do hurt. But for the forward helixes, I think it's taken me a while to heal because I wear my hair down a lot. Um, so, and you know, it gets caught in my hair and stuff like that. And then the hair products I use is probably getting caught in the open piercing. So I just need to figure out a way to make that happen as least as possible. And then when I sleep, since I do get each side pierced the same, when I sleep, all I do is use a travel pillow and I sleep in the hole, like the travel pillows like this and I sleep in the hole and I'm perfectly fine because it's not touching anything so that's how i sleep and people are probably wondering like how because it's hard or like i could just sleep like this and i'm fine but i for the most part i use a travel pillow and do that and everything's fine and dandy so yeah i'm really glad that i got to show you all of my piercings and yeah that's all i needed to say about that so i hope you have a good day oh and also i wanted to show you my let me take this off my phone case because it's compostable is that how you say it and it's so nice it's by Pella case and look at it it's a turtle isn't that so cool sorry my nails are the worst right now. but like it's a turtle and like on their website they have like turtles and um one that looks like a beehive oh and then in this on the inside i didn't even notice it says made in canada and made with plants i didn't even know that you're probably not gonna be able to see that but right there it says that so that's really really cool and then this it just says that it's a turtle the one i got but they have like turtles and they have uh uh what's the name it's like a design a is it a i'm not gonna say what i think it is because it might be wrong but like you if you just look on the website you could see but they have really nice things and it's really nice that this isn't gonna stay in landfills and all that all that bad stuff so yeah, get you a Pella case for Christmas or for anything or I don't know, but bye. <laughs> have a good day and I just wanted to show you my Spongebob hoodie. So have a good one and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.